is it going out today everybody this is Jordan Jones on the new Super Mario Bros Wii tutorial let's learn how you beat world 5-2 getting all the start points it's actually quite simple it's pretty simple I'll show you what to do it's pretty easy I'll show you what to do so all you do is just react to main stage of this game and jump over enemies like this you can flick your Wiimote for extra boost. These Wigglers will get mad if you jump on their on you jump on their heads. Grab this power block and use it right here to reveal your first dark one. Very simple to get. Excuse me. Now go inside this pipe. Okay, this dark one right here. You have to be careful not to touch the poison. Remember, if you don't touch the poison, you'll lose a life. Because there will be one life lost. So you want to you can grab your power up if you want to. And then you just um, wait until um, the wiggler is underneath and do that. Very simple. So all you have to do, so all you have to, do to get that star point. One the easiest star, easiest star point of the whole level. Now you just slide under here and duck under here. You don't have to duck one under there, but just slide under there is the easiest way to get down there. Just slide. Now just do some wall jump up here to let the wiggler pass. And here's some very point about this part. You'll see some bats, um, but you can avoid them easily if you just react and watch where they're going. Just go the opposite way of where they're going. That's all I'd say. There's not really much I can tell you how to do it. But it's just easy. Now we're at the checkpoint. And now, once again, this part, this part, you see some dips right there. You have to use the wigglers to jump on them in order to get your last dark one. So very simple, jump on the wigglers. I messed up a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. We can do it again. Not a problem. That's all I have to do. Very simple. And that's how you get your last dark one of the level. And now, if you don't have the propeller suit, you're going to have to use the propeller block to propel her up and get it. Let's go over the whole level without pausing so you can see it was like when we all the way through. So you understand what it's like when you beat it all the way through. It's very important to understand. Okay, so once again, main strategy we're doing this game. We have to grab this power block here. It is possible to jump and get that star coin up there, but it's very, very tricky, so I recommend not even try. Because I'm just... Yeah, that's not the purpose of this tutorial. You can try that if you want to, but that's not the purpose of this tutorial. The purpose of this tutorial is to get you to the easiest strategies possible. Beat this game to 100% this game. Easiest strategies possible. Easiest and most efficient. And it will take practice. It requires a bit of practice to beat the levels. Especially when we get to the harder worlds of the game. But this world, it won't take as much practice. It'll, take a little, it'll require a little bit of practice, but it should be beat this world pretty easily. Slide right here, very important. We done got our second star coin, so here's all we have to do. All we have to do is this. We lost the power up. That's okay. That happens sometimes. That's okay. I'm not really concerned about dying on this level because we're not going to die on this level because it's an easy level. Just get near the bat and then just don't jump. That's the easiest way I can say to avoid these bats and jump over them. That's all I have to do. Very simple. Oh, we barely made it up here, but that's okay. Oh, boy. That's okay, we can do the rest of it without getting hit. All you have to do right here is just use a propeller block and then propel her up into the star coin. That's all you have to do. Very, very simple, that's all you have to do. Now all we're gonna do now is just... Do this, grab our power up, and that's it. That's all we have to do with this level. I do want to show you something, how you get more like one-ups or any kind of power-ups or anything like that. I do want to show you something. So watch the timer in the top right corner. If it hits to 5-5 five, five, since we're in world 5 and there's two fives on the clock and I hit the flagpole, let's see if we can do this right. Oh! A second later. If there's two fives on the clock, if I would hit the flagpole, I would have got some other power-ups. So this is something that, like in World 6, it has to be two sixes, and then so on and so forth with all the worlds. In World 1, it'd be two ones on the clock. That's all you have to do, very simple. If you have any questions about World 4, 
World 5-2. Please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. And I'm glad to answer it for you. Okay, everybody, that was it. I hope that's helpful and have a good one. We'll be moving to World 5-3 next time.